Hi everyone, I'm here with David Lewis, who's the videographer, and Patty Snodgrass, who's getting ready to teach a workshop for us on silk painting and also coloring um, copper using different uh, things like uh, colored pencils and alcohol inks and things like that. So we've been planning that today. But I wanted to show you some new items that we're going to have at the that we have at the website. Uh, these um, the people that make these for me had to develop a, a tool that would punch out both of these holes. I was doing these on my own one at a time and it really gets to be tedious. So we have these two different sizes with the two holes which I think is great for a bracelet and then we have the, these that have just the single hole on the top and these holes are 3 seconds of an inch which is a good size for the Crafted Findings riveting tool. So that's something to keep in mind. But the purpose of the video today is to talk about Scraffito. And this is a technique that I know from my ceramic days. And um, when I was working in ceramics, what I would do is I would throw a vessel on the potter's wheel. I would paint it with a colored slip, which is colored clay, I mean liquid clay. And then I would carve through that and it would reveal the pottery beneath the color of the pottery. But uh, the technique is very similar with the enamel and I want to show you how to do this with the immersion process. So here we've got our piece and I've uh, I annealed it and I've domed it and it does have fire scale on it, but that's not going to interfere with the adhesion of the enamel. So we're gonna just go ahead and enamel this like it would normally. Turn on the torch. Now remember, after you get the torch started, you wanna cut back on the gas a little bit. Let me do that again so that you can hear, okay? I'm turning the knob to the left. Now I'm cutting it back. Okay, you can see the flame, how that's changed. So I'm just going to heat up the back of the enamel, I mean of the pendant, till it glows orange. All of your movements with the enamel when, you, uh, when you're enameling and uh, dredging your pieces through the uh, enamel have to be done quickly. You, you know, it's possible for people to heat the, um, their copper up till it's glowing orange but then if they're slow to get it into the container, they've lost that advantage. So it's very important that your movements be quick to get good coverage. This is uh, off-white enamel. Let's see if I have a number on here. Uh, it's uh, 1202. I really like the uh, creamy quality of this color. So we're just heating this up. We want to get it really, really glowing. Okay. And I'm going to give this one more coat because my first coat was not really, um, it didn't have the coverage that I would have liked. Turn the gas up just a tad. Okay, now we're going to start, uh, our next layer is going to be 1760, which is iris. Alright, so now we're going to turn off the torch. And I'm going to use a mandrel that's in a slightly larger size just to carve some abstract designs in this piece. This is not going to be an artwork. Okay, so we are just scratching a design in here and it could be something that was very planned. Turn the torch back on. So now what I'm doing is I'm fusing the iris enamel to uh, the um, cream colored enamel, I mean to the off-white, yeah, which is 1202. All 
All right. And while I have this on, I am going to turn that up a little bit. Okay, that's fused, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap some of this flame orange around the outside perimeter of the piece. Bring it up into the flame. And I'm keeping it parallel to the table because the uh, enamel, um, the copper disc has cooled quite a bit. And um, if I turn it upright, there's a good chance that some of this um, flame orange enamel will fall off. So we're just going to fuse it this way. Now I can turn it to the normal position. Turn up the gas a little bit. All right, now, if you have a buildup, if I were to take this off the mandrel the ordinary way, just by pulling this off, if you have a buildup of enamel at this end of the mandrel, when you pull that off, that enamel is going to go toward filling that hole there. And we don't want to do that. We want to keep that open. So what I'm going to do is I'm allowing this enamel to cool so I can crack it off. So I know that there's going to be no problem with excess enamel filling the hole of the uh, disc. Now, since this is not going to roll like a bead would, I'm going to move the vermiculite out of the way because I don't need that now. Now. All right. Let's just drop that off onto the work surface and I'm going to flip it over. Now, as this, uh, this flame orange begins to cool, it's going to uh, change color and become more like this. All right. So that's as easy as it is. Um, you can do this graffito using the immersion process and uh, it's pretty quick and easy. Thanks for being with me here today. Bye-bye now.